Hello everyone, welcome back to IV's YouTube channel. We are back with another video on the data cleaning series. Our today's topic is going to be outlier. Data points that are significantly different from other data points are called outliers. Outliers can skew the interpretation of the data. They can be accurate or inaccurate. Let's have a look at the first method of detecting outliers. The outlier identification one. Here we see there are two types of charts. It's a visualization, which has charts like histogram and scatter chart with help in identification of outliers. Now we can perform it in a data set. Let's have a look. And here we see in the scatter chart. So this is a very pile of chart in these areas that are out of the range are known as the outliers. So this is the first way we detect the outliers. Now, if I want to change the chart type to say histogram, so my chart is going to be okay, this is how we can find outlier in a scatter chart. Same can be done for histogram as we can see in this chart that an outlier will be placed somewhere very outside the charts. So let's move to outlier identification too. Outlier identification too. So there's a very statistical way of identifying the outlier. We need to sort the data, calculate the quartile, and have the formula in this place. And we want the inner and outer fences, or we, which we call lower and upper bound. Lower bound formula is this. This is the upper bound formula. And this is how we can find the outlier. So let's work on the same data set and this is our data set, and we want Q1. Q1 will be basically, the formula for Q1 will be quartile of this whole range, I fixed it, and the first quartile, that is going to be Q1. Same goes for Q3, the range will be same, and quartile 3. I want a difference between Q3 and Q1, so which is going to be is equal to Q3 minus Q1. That gives me 23.5. Now the formula for lower bound, or we say the inner fence and the outer fence, which is upper bound, is given here respectively for your reference. So let's just write it. So we want the Q1, which is this, minus, in the bracket, I want 1.5 into Q3 minus Q1, which is 23.5, is equal to 19.5. The same thing we want, for the upper bound with a different formula. So it's going to be Q3 plus we have 1.5 into Q3 minus Q1. We get 113.5. Now we have to check an outlier based on the lower and the upper bound. The formula which we are going to use here is an OR. So if the number is less than the lower bound number and greater than the upper bound number, then it's definitely an outlier. So if the number is less than the lower bound number, which we can fix it. And if the number is greater than the upper bound number, which we fix here, then it will be outlier else. So I'll use the formula for the rest. And the areas where we see true are the outliers. So for doing that, I'll go to filter and I'll select only the true values and select all of them. And if I want to delete it, usually we delete it. So we delete these values. We go back and we see our formula. So we go back to a PowerPoint. The treatment which we have seen now was delete the outlier data and revisit the data point. Hope this video was helpful for you. Keep tuned to IB's YouTube channel for more such videos on data cleaning series. Thank you.